All right, here we go, Rob. I thought uh, Patrick Mahomes obviously uh, won the MVP award. The Chiefs won 35, 38 to 35. Mahomes takes uh, this, his second MVP and his second Super Bowl win. And Rob, it was for him the completion of what some are saying is the greatest individual season in NFL history. Because he won, he became the first player ever to win the regular season MVP, the Super Bowl MVP, and obviously the Super Bowl, the and to lead the NFL in pass touchdowns and lead the NFL in passing yards. Rob, only three other players have done that in their entire career. I Meaning, over the course of a career, they won all those, you know accolades Tom Brady Peyton Manning and Kurt Warner and Mahomes of course again the first one to do it all in one season and Rob I'm gonna say this Patrick Mahomes is already the third best quarterback ever meaning if he retired tomorrow in my view Tom Brady's the GOAT Joe Montana would be second, and Patrick Mahomes would be third. That's how much this dude, in the first six years of his career, have been unlike any that we've ever seen. I mean, he's he was the first player in the history of the league to have two regular season MVPs and two Super Bowl MV, no, two regular se- to win multiple championships, my fault, and multiple league MVPs within the first six seasons of his career. And obviously, he's only played five of those seasons because he's uh didn't start his first year. So I think Rob, I, I think he's already number three behind uh Joe Montana at two and Tom Brady at one. Yeah, I'm not there. Uh, as you know, a career is a long career, uh, and he's got a long way to go. He could play with the way things are and the uh, medical and the Agreed. straight. You yeah. know, like he could play 10 he, years. He'll probably play. He oh, could play 10 years. Don't you think he'll play more than that? I, I don't know. The way it is. To, I mean, he may not want to. But you don't know with money and just the way sports. it is. But I'm just saying he might be able to with play. The rules. You don't know with that, right? They protect the quarterback. You don't get hit. It's not like Joe Montana who's been, you know, beat up when he played. Uh, so there's there's always that chance. There's always a chance that could be an injury in his career. There's a lot of things that can happen. I'm not wishing that. I'm just saying, like, you know, as you talk about looking at 10 years, he's off to an, a fantastic, impress, impressive start. Uh, I don't know when I look at the rest of the quarterbacks and who else won two and Elway, I know, you know, went out with two and Peyton Manning won two and, and now Patrick Mahomes has two. Um and I'd have to look at a list. Jim Plunkett won two. Well, you, no, I'm you just really giving Plunkett into this. But he won. I'm just giving people one two. <laughs> but he wasn't a great quarterback. You know that. I'm talking about who won two. That's all. Okay, okay. okay. I'm just talking about people who won two. So I'm just saying the conversation isn't about just winning two. It's about no, no, no. But I'm just saying know, I'm not. I, yeah, but I'm not there as you are. I think uh, you know. That's something that you jumped on early, and you should feel good about your your pick. But I just, I'm not one of those guys. I I, I need more because I've seen the the lulls in people's career. I've seen the ten year droughts. I've seen things go wrong. Things happen, and I don't know. We could say this today, Chris, and then he could play ten more years and never win, or maybe never get back to this level of of playing. And that's obviously a hypothetical. But I'm just saying. And then I don't know after 10 more years, would you feel the same way if he doesn't have the magic or he doesn't win or Andy Reid retires or, or you know what I mean, or he has a hobbled four years. I remember, not that it changed whether or not he was a great player, but I remember uh, Ken Griffey going to Cincinnati and being injured for four right. years. It but just if altered. somebody said Ken Griffey He's still was a great the best player. player they ever saw, you wouldn't, I mean, you, you'd understand that. Right, you know but, I, but and I'm but, not even saying Mahomes is the best. No, I know already. what you're saying. I, I heard goat, what you said. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, and I'm glad you said that. The one thing that I think people, and I get it. You know what I mean? Like you get caught up. Can we? Can we? Not you, because you said it third. 
But I mean, I Joe do, Montana. I, I'll, I'll I mean, look, can we just can so we not get, skip over Joe Montana? Well, I, right. I, I got Montana. No, I know you there, do. There. But I mean, right. Dan Orlovsky didn't even have that, him in the top five. Orlovsky, man, Chris, and, and the, he has had some outrageous takes. Those are those are lately. Those are like credibility less takes. To not have Seriously. Montana in your top five is unbelievable. Like like to sit to there say, to sit there on the set, Chris. And 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 try to justify. Can you admit, like, you know what? I made a mistake. He has the he, best I quarterback rating of, a qu- of, of any qu- of any quarterback in in the Super Bowl. Like seriously, he was flawless in the Super Bowl. Flawless. Eleven touchdowns, zero picks, one hundred twenty-seven point eight right. or something like that. One hundred twenty-seven Stop. something. Right, but that's what rate. I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, right. No. And and here's the thing about Montana, Rob. That team was horrible. When he took over. and he, Now, his first two years, he was banged up and didn't play a full season. The first full season of his career as a starter was his third year. And they went from being horrible to winning the Super Bowl. Right. And then they won it again. And then, you know, he, he so he won two before Jerry Rice joined uh, the that's team. The other, you know. That's the other part I tell people all the time. Because they always say, well, he had Jerry. I said, no, no, no. He won two with Jerry Rice and two without Jerry Rice. Right, two with Dwight Clark, who Ex- was a good. You know, he made like two right. Pro Bowls. He, well, he made he one of the all time great risk. catches in the NFL. Right, right, right. I right. Mean, that's that. what he's most known for. Right, that's Dwight Clark uh, climbing the ladder. Right, right. I I do think Rob that Mahomes is the best quarterback I've ever seen, but you know he doesn't have the hardware yet where you could credibly say he's the goat. But here's why I put him ahead of Elway. As you know, Elway, he won two, he lost three. And when he won his last two, and I don't discredit him for this, but, you know, we always say when you're determining between all-time greats, you nitpick. And his last, the two that he won, he was not like really that full driving force. He was still a great quarterback. But they had Terrell Davis. And remember, the run game was a huge, huge factor in them winning those Super Bowls. And Elway's numbers in the Super Bowls are three touchdowns and five picks. So his numbers don't compare to what Mahomes has done in the postseason. Peyton, as you know, you could argue Peyton is the best regular season quarterback ever. But in the playoffs, Peyton left a lot to be desired. He's got the two rings. We all know his second ring. Credit to him, but, you know, he didn't have a good year, even a good year. Not Forget a great year. He didn't even have a good year. Nine touchdowns, 17 picks, and the defense was the driving force. Actually got benched for uh, Brock Osweiler. But Peyton in the playoffs, Rob, 14-13, and 87.4 passer rating, 40 touchdowns, 25 picks. Mahomes, 11-3. 107.4 pass rating, which is number one all time in playoffs. 35 TDs, seven picks. And that's the postseason production is also why I put him ahead of Aaron Rodgers, who is 11 and 10 in the playoffs. 100 passer rating, 45 TDs, 13 interceptions. So, yeah, I mean, you know, Favre, we know Favre, as great as he was, he was reckless and had a lot of interceptions. Only one Super Bowl. Marino didn't have any. So, yeah, Rob, I think that he's already done enough where if he retired today, he would be the third best quarterback ever. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, you make, you make a case. I, I didn't look at everybody as closely. I'm sorry my picture went out. Yeah, uh, they, we did. We lost our Zoom. For did you lose it? Okay, yep, we both yep, did. Yep. Okay, all right. I thought it was me. That's why it threw me off. Yep. Uh, yeah, we we uh, you have to look at LeBron. Uh, at Mahomes and his start, Chris, as I said, it's as impressive as anybody. And I remember when, uh, because I was young enough and I, you know, was around, but I, I remember that first, second year of Dan Marino, and obviously he went to Super Bowl, they lost, and uh, and people just automatically assumed it was going to be, uh, you know, more stuff to come. Right. And of course, Aaron Rodgers, you thought same no, thing. If you no one, said he's nobody would have thought getting back right. to the Super Bowl. Would have never believed that. Not right. when they won that Super Bowl. And if you remember, 
they weren't even a top team. They were like a wild card team or 10 something. Ten and six that year. Exactly. They were fifteen and one the next year. Exactly. And didn't get there. Right. But I, I hear you. But I think that's what the point. He's already got his two, um, and the two MVP. And and look, I it's certainly possible that I think they're gonna become a dynasty. Um, but I think it's certainly you know you never know. Like you said, if you get back to right. Super Bowl, I mean, but if he if he let's say like Aaron Rodgers, he has a great career. And we're never to get back to the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? You st- maybe wins a couple MVPs, but just never gets back right. to the Super Bowl. I still think he's a set third. Back. You know what I mean? Like now, if he, this is all. This is really like no. I know it. Just all, it's talk- not even realistic that he's just going to become a mediocre quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it, I don't think it's mediocre because because along the way. In those empty years for Aaron Rodgers, he's won three or four he's MVPs. He's always been great. Right, right, right. right. So you could have, so, you could play yeah. well, uh, win MVPs, and still not get there. You know what I mean? Right. It ain't like he's falling off a cliff. He could, he right. could, he could win MVPs or or do other things. But yeah.